The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, we find out exactly what dollar amount people are not willing to spend on a console. Oh boy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan, a video game podcast and a podcast about video games most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes. Most of the time. Uh, today, we were supposed to be reviewing Tales of Hysteria, but as it is, that neither myself nor Schweiss are finished with Tales of Hysteria. Uh, how many hours in it? Yeah, twenty six. Okay. Wow, we got the uh, forty got hour like game. Twenty six more to go. No, okay. I don't have twenty six. <laughs> I uh, I'm not a cash. So I'll I go. looked into, or I was informed of some news that I thought was really interesting, and I think uh, I think today, guys, I, instead of doing history of video games part four, which is totally what I was gonna do, <laughs> I decided to skip ahead a little bit and do like a third of what would be history of video games part eight and we're going to talk about the playstation yeah. i like how he has all the parts planned out it's just generations like, yeah but he, he, generations he, he, him, he has the outline all so the way because out. it's a seventh generation console it's part eight yeah because the first one was the pre yeah, it was like before the, yeah the before times it was the yeah, primordial exactly. ooze of uh console <laughs> of life. so we're gonna be talking about the ps3 the pits, and we'll talk about that like in a, a little bit chip. <laughs> but first you're gonna introduce ourselves i'm joe <laughs> I'm Caleb Craig. <laughs> this is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. What has everybody been playing? Uh, I've been playing uh, The Division and Final Fantasy Thirteen. Are you That's ever it. going to beat Final Fantasy Thirteen? Eventually. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> uh, just in Grand Pulse, just doing some of the side stuff. Mm. You Trying to get some it. levels. Uh, I don't nice think little so. tuck you did there. <laughs> I already sold stuff, so it's <laughs> fucked. So Cameron, you want to bring up some Not more visual stuff on the show? If you want to Man, explain this it, puff I can. ball is like solid. So we replaced our mic puffs, <laughs> our little uh, pop filters. <laughs> and this one, like I put my mouth up to it and I'm like trying to, you know, I like to make out and like oh, pretend yeah. there's a little nipple on the end of this thing sometimes just kind of. Give it a nice lick. And this one is like... <laughs> like Caleb, why are you stroking firm? It's like a brick. Yeah, it's very thick. Yeah. My old one is soft, friendly, inviting, and this one is... <laughs> I don't just know if I like the stern new puffball. Mine's gotta... got kind of like a flat end to it, so it's not as good. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I, I just I noticed up that this one smells kind of funny, but it's probably... I'm just missing the like pound of my breath that was in it <laughs> yeah. from before. <laughs> Yeah, it does smell, it smell odd, but it's the firmness. That it's it starts. smells like manufactured plastic. Yeah, and see, and it. this one doesn't have a whole bunch of my beard hair in it yet, but that'll be rectified soon. Yeah, I had to label <laughs> personalize. I was sick of Jake using my <laughs> goddamn mic. Um, not that I can't use my mic, but my puffball, like my puffball, is sacred to me because I I do that all day on it. I spit on it basically. Yeah, and you don't want another. I don't man want another spitting man on spitting on my puffball. <laughs> Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, I I don't like it when other men try to spit on my puffball. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's, uh, <laughs> like only you spit can. on it and stroke it. Yeah, all sorts of things. Gurgle it. Yeah, I'm got Jake's always gurgling your puffball. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Jake gave all of our puffballs a turn. Uh, you know. Yeah, at some point he definitely did. Except for Schweiss's. Yeah, he doesn't touch mine. He doesn't touch Schweiss's well, puffball. He can't touch what he can't see. So yeah, oh. that's fair. Well. <laughs> he just knows it's sacred. It's just like it's like Ultimo for him. Like I'll never be on Ultima. It's just his it's the one thing he wants in this world and I hold it above him like a <laughs> older brother holds a younger brother's fucking plaything. <laughs> Jumping up trying to grab it, but they're never tall enough to reach. They're just jumping. And I'm like, ah, ah. I never had an older brother. I can't follow. I am the oldest child too, but I uh, we we do it. I wasn't the oldest child. Anyway, Caleb. (laughs) 
What else did you say you were playing? <laughs> Division, uh, and just, F- yeah, F- Division and 13. Cameron. So I have been playing a little more of that uh, Battlefield 1, playing the premium. It's great. It's a great game. And uh, Caleb uh, game. also picked up premium <laughs> as well. I noticed a few of our listeners out there also have premium. So yeah. we should all schedule time. That's what I said. Like, if, if you call, Krenatol will come. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even ask him to get premium, and he already did. He's like, what? They he might have gotten premium before me. You don't know that. He could have uh, picked that up. That's so true. We'll yeah. find out. Very true. Um, but we should all play that sometime. I've also been playing, oh, what else? the division and today i just got in the no and today i just barely popped in when i got in the mail yesterday which is mass effect one nice so i'm gonna start on that series because i kind of am interested in playing andromeda but i felt bad about starting number four before getting into the first three especially really with number four, how though. especially it's it says mass effect four andromeda no, it's but, Mass Effect uh, <laughs> Andromeda. No, but I, I've he- heard how good yeah, those Just like games Mission are. Impossible Ghost Protocol isn't Mission Impossible 4. It's not about the same <laughs> characters. They separated it on purpose, which is why it's not called Mass Effect 4. But anyways, you should still pay tribute to the first three because they are good. That's like saying that Final Fantasy 2 can't be Final Fantasy because it doesn't have the same characters <laughs> as the first one. <laughs> they just decided to give it a numerical thing. Yeah. So, I can't so speechless. <laughs> uh, it's just that uh, it's not. They separated it and it called it Andromeda. Same. Okay, otherwise okay. they would have just called it. Mass Effect Four. Unlike, hey, unlike all Final I've heard Fantasy, is that that game is universe. shit, and that it did bad. Is that correct? Mass Effect um, Four. Yeah, I it, heard that has some issues with it, but it still looks like a fun game. It has issues with like some of the animation and uh, some other things. And the diversity. And so by uh, the time I get to it, all of that should be patched, right? And on sale. (laughs) They they do. Yeah, they do have plans to uh, to patch um, most of the problems that it's had. That it had. So. So I'm actually pretty excited for it. I was like, I can't wait for this to arrive. So I'm probably going to be playing a lot of Mass Effect over the weekend. So. Hopefully, I'm going to get that done soon and boost my hog numbers. That's, that's, that's going to be, be like an 80-hour endeavor. Ass Effect is a new game. It's uh, it's one of those Google Cardboard games. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't the ones get that it you up, can only find you can't on get it off the sites. Android store. You got to get it off something else. <laughs> yeah. Some particular <laughs> site. Yeah. Um, Goddamn. Shit, I did. Hmm. I didn't play 13 Lightning Returns this week, and I think the only thing... No, I played a little bit of Battlefront, or Battlefield with Cameron about the about the DLC stuff. All so of I had the, the new guns, two matches the, we played because we did front lines, which take forever. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I spent... Uh, it was about a dollar an hour for what we played after I got it, so it was <laughs> good deal. Um, and I've been playing just tons and tons of Tales of Zestiria this week, like... Like I think I I that I just know it. I hear that uh, theme song start up. I'm like, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's very odd. You know, the what theme. it is is that they, it's it's like the anime opening theme song that you get in shows, and that's that's the part of the video game is their anime opening yeah. right there. It's it's bizarre. I don't dislike it. But it's like it was show and a video game at the same time. Yeah, there's like a, there's like five different cutscene styles within the game. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I know. dug the hell out of the music, but in I think it's the, the music that stops Caleb from streaming too. See, the part that it plays <laughs> in though in the game really really weird spot. The the part yeah. where that intro does. Yeah. Yeah, it was odd. I was like It's like it's like that thing where they do where they're like they just fucking say the name of it again. It's like when we opened up it's Type a Zero title sequence. Yeah, like Type Zero. Do you remember that, Caleb? When you started yeah. that thing up, it's like Final Fantasy Type Zero, and then five minutes later, there's another cutscene that ends. It's like Final Fantasy <laughs> Type Zero. I'm like, I know what it is. <laughs> we're God, aware of what we're fucking playing. This is 35 minutes in. I know it's Tales of Zestiria. I know. <laughs> so it's it's weird. <laughs> beep, beep, da, da, da. But uh, yeah, still got still got a few hours in that. I've been doing a lot of extra fights to uh, boost up my characters and whatnot. And I just barely killed the armadillo guy in one of those caves. And that guy was a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> he was sick. I used every fucking item I had in my inventory to kill him. It's not, even worth, it's not even worth fighting him, really. Like, I get a level out of it, but that doesn't mean shit in that game. Not Something really. Worth fighting not, yeah, not for. really. 
It's the the weapon <clears throat> combining and stuff like that that really builds you up, I think. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing it to get more HP a little bit and just get better at the combat. But I'm having fun with it, so I go through phases of like I'm I'm enjoying it, and then I like really am not. I'm dreading it, and then I enjoy it again. So. I think it depends on how much sleep I've gotten. <laughs> I think it's the length of the game, dude. I think knowing that it's a forty-hour game <laughs> is what's making it hard to start it. That's which like is a, ridiculous. That's a full like, week. Get some of those DLCs and make it faster for you. <laughs> that's a full-time job uh, you're doing right now. One of those <laughs> DLCs will week. give you like two thousand HP and thirty-five I just levels. <laughs> spent some money on a composer, <laughs> and now I don't have any money. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, John Williams is very expensive, as it uh, turns out. It's not John Williams, but he is a very good composer, and so we have to pay him for it. That's just Wait, you're paying someone and it's not John Williams? It's not John Williams. Yeah, John Williams mm. is the only person who's allowed to be paid in the uh, music industry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, That's no. going to be my first rule when I ascend. So yeah, like, I not, was... Not even like, uh, last <laughs> week, I was seriously considering getting that DLC. The level up DLC. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be the speed run DLC. Hey, you know, if it's part of the game, damn straight it counts. It's a yeah. It's for speed runs, which would make sense because like you have to do five playthroughs in order to get the fucking plat. So, <laughs> so there, you're. It's pay to plat is what it is. It's like yeah, pay to plat. Kind of, <laughs> pay to get the fucking game done. It's kind, of, like. it's kind of what it seems like. Mm, yeah, I, I think that would be kind of fun though. Although that is kind of. Cuntish, I a, would say. A god tier. <laughs> you know, like you should you. be able to do something like fifteen with a new game plus, and I know they have one, but I'm not sure what it actually entails. But it, it you, carries over pretty much everything. Oh, so you except can, for like certain key items. So you can just plow through it then. Yeah. Oh, then there's no. Then I don't see why it exists other than for Joe's scenario where you want to get it done. Because <laughs> why? If you can beat the game with save file one and then do a new game plus on save file one, you're only going to be stronger by the time you get to the end. So why would you get the DLC? Like if everything carries over, you just play it again because you get to like a certain point at the end of the game and then you get like 35 more levels and 2000 more experience to just plow through it even faster. I guess, but I'm glad that the new game plus lets your shit carry over because if not, then it would be a total fuck face move to be like, Oh, that's kind of what new game plus is. It's you should get your stuff carried over. Otherwise it's like not new game plus you should, but the (laughs) DLC existing with the new game plus being that way is weird. Cameron, how do you feel about Taylor? <laughs> you know, considering you've played it before. I just, uh, I just, my he has stomach. so many opinions about it. I'm just wondering if he wants to share them. My stomach <laughs> drops when I watch you guys play it, knowing what I'm going to have to probably play pretty soon. Um, I just do not buy into that culture very much. That anime, um, lots of underage women portrayed in sexual ways and i just nobody's portrayed in sexual ways in that game and oh does don't you tell me about that mm, they yeah, are wearing so either, some but... fucking scanty stuff but that's true but um I, when you're playing a game and your character will repeat the name of his attack every time he uses it <sighs> You can. I think you could turn that uh, off. Falcon man. Punch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's Captain not Falcon. An anime. <laughs> oh man! But you know, Falkirk. maybe I just need to uh, to take the plunge just uh, to to just hit head Show on. And maybe I'll enjoy it. Who knows? I mean, I did get it, some enjoyment. Every time we turn it core. on, Cameron just squirms because we all three fucking live here within yeah. five feet of each other so yeah. like every time we turn it on Cameron's just like yeah it's, so it's, like, it's like stuck anime, in between the both of you doing the anime the anime game <laughs> there's only one anime actually sorry two animes that I've enjoyed the young dragon ball with young Goku and then what was the other one the the mage one oh geez I can't remember what that one's called right now what about Death Note they're making yeah, a new Death Note Magi. movie Another one? It's They're a live action? a live action yeah. American Death Note. Movie. Yeah. And then so one of our follow- one of the people I watch on this Twitch was... This a live action fucking Japanese one. Uh, yeah. We don't need any... We need to Stop Americanizing it. shit. No, we need to make it white. Ghost in the Shell make, is going to be terrible. Make Death Note great again. <laughs> what what uh, <laughs> the chat just said. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even seen Death Wrong. Note. I have seen some of it. I enjoyed it a lot, but Death I've Note never watched the whole thing. I only watched the Japanese live action movie. Oh, really? You That's never the, saw the only show. experience I've ever had with Death Note, and I thought it was okay. 
I yeah. have not seen that. I, I thought the idea was way cool. And, and a lot of the people who like Death Note do not like that movie. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I thought it was okay, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. So the chat just said I need to embrace my inner weeb. So maybe it's like people who are really hard on gay people find out that they're really gay themselves. Maybe I'm just the yeah, biggest you're just weeb. Gonna like, just yeah, you're going to like fall into it <laughs> deep as soon as you like watch some more shit. Yeah, are you also going to find out you're gay, Cameron? Because <laughs> I see, I like secretly I tell you guys, also in a guys, closet. I, I come out of the closet every day. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Forgot the penis scandal this time. Damn oh. it. Oh, uh, yeah, we did. But so maybe I hop into Persona 5 and it's the best fucking game I've ever played. Well, you know, you, you don't know I until problem. I try it. Stop talking about Persona 5 because then people won't have it on their mind yeah, when the they go to vote. Rule, they might not vote for Persona 5. The first rule of not getting Persona 5 voted in is not talking about Persona It's 5. a thing and it is a huge motherfucking game. So, of course, I'm going to talk about and it. And the more you try to talk about not wanting to play maybe i'm secretly wanting them to vote for it maybe that's why i keep talking the more likely i am to really say that everyone should totally it's a hundred hours and it's so many weeks of you guys having to plan episodes yeah (laughs) no so no what it's gonna be we're gonna we're gonna change this fucker around i've already talked to caleb about this we're not gonna keep planning if that game's picked and we have a short amount of time to play it we're rechanging the format we'll have six weeks to play it all right and like i said if we play four hours a day every day that's 26 days just under a month of this game (laughs) don't okay i'm telling you man i would just just side stuff too cam cam it's gonna take a long i'm not doing any fucking side stuff yeah. What if you like the game? Well, then I probably do side stuff, but then I wouldn't care at that point. But, I like it, but will you like it though? I That's mean, the question. I, I won't know until I'm ten. Hours I think in. Persona looks pretty fun. It's See, pretty maybe fun. maybe ten hours in. I'm like, dude, this game's actually pretty cool. I don't know until I take the plunge. All I know is I don't like watching Z- Zestiria. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't like watching Zestiria either. <laughs> Not necessarily. I, it's got some good stuff, but um, I'm excited to see what Troy has to say. We're going to invite him onto the episode for giving us the game. And oh, for giving so. us FF15. But, of course, since Troy's not here today, we're not reviewing it, and we're not done. <laughs> Which sucks ass. Uh, I think it'll be another, like, two weeks. Oh, right. my God. Are you I serious? don't think I'm going to finish it this well, week. How far are you? In oh, he's in not. Hysteria. He's, like, four hours Like, in. that's all you've been playing is just Hysteria? The only game like, I played is Hysteria. He paid maybe, hours, like, an hour of hours. it this week. He, he, needs the, he needs the speed run. That's such a shameless God. DLC, dude. Need How much play. is it? Uh, uh, it's know. like twelve bucks. Oh, so someone's willing I to. It gives, you, it gives you like a shitload of other stuff that also doubles the experience and gold and other stuff you get. Cameron, I only have like I only have no, no, sixty no, no, dollars no. for groceries. So it looks <laughs> like someone's willing to pay a little extra to make it better. Oh, oh a little oh, ammunition curious. for an argument later. <laughs> it's what happens when you talk to poor people about spending money, Cameron. I know. Well, I'm poor too. The Xbox Live but. PlayStation off cam thing we have. Oh, yeah. okay. We'll get into that though. Yeah, we will. Well. We will. Uh, yeah, all I played was Asteria. And I. Uh, it's just, just <laughs> too much time. Uh, oh, Cam Cam, didn't you play Batman? Oh, I forgot that shit. Yeah, so I played like uh, played four like hours that. of Batman this okay. week. Yeah, well, it felt like a shit. He plays a lot of games when he's uh, here. <laughs> yeah yeah when i'm here i don't know where i was going with that but anyway I know. Has, has anybody <laughs> beaten the game this week no <laughs> no <laughs> ha! no nothing uh, well no see for me for me it means that i'm still tied for first they yeah. need to beat a game so that's why yeah. yeah, he kept asking me if I was going to beat a game this week. He's like really nervous about it because he yeah. wanted to like, because he was like, I'm going to plow through this game. If you're going to beat a game, Caleb, you got to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Caleb's going to beat a game. I'm going to fucking stay up late playing Batman, get that shit done. But I'd rather enjoy it than plow through it. So are you going to beat a game this week? And so I can enjoy the division with you guys. And he's like, no, probably not. I'm like, okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like I need to beat uh, Zestiria soon, or I'm going to be losing even more spots. Yeah, we got a freaking Parasite of 2 to get in. Well, if we're right not going to do Zestiria for two more weeks, then I, I've got a long time for that Parasite Eve. That will not be late. I vow it. Right uh, I, I got it. I'll give you all of my games. On I'll put all of my video games in the fucking <laughs> pile if I am late on that shit. It's so, it's so stressful it for late. me to be late on games. Like, but Zestiria is just so big, you know? It's huge. It's huge, and you just should have started it take. a while ago and totally didn't. Yeah. Uh, and I'm less, I, I have less hours you're in the game. You're going to want to start do. it. 
I and, fucking ugh. I I really I, it was because of the platinum need of thirteen two. Like I have to platinum it. I I needed it, and it took up too much of my time. It took like a week and a half longer than I was expecting. So got fucked. I uh, just I got distracted by some other things um, t- that I can't talk about. <laughs> and, you mean your graduation party coming up? I mean, well, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, graduating, uh, looking for employment elsewhere, looking, uh, trying to write a screenplay. So I've been doing a lot of stuff having to do with the screenplay. You're telling me a certain amount and of I hours. I guess I should have been playing some video games instead. <laughs> I guess that's what I should have been doing. And didn't you finish 13 two like forever ago? I finished 13 two really quickly. And you should have started Zestria like right after. I should after. have started Zestria right It's really after. funny. 13.2 took us like no time. We like didn't play it for a couple weeks and then we played the fuck out of it and then reviewed it. Like just, it was just done. It was just there. 20 hours. If someone's asking no more gas station stories, um, you know, th- there will always be gas station I stories. I don't want to be the gas station attendant with a degree. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I don't want to be. So instead, he'll have no job. You know, you're. You know, he, I would rather have no job and fulfill his future. <laughs> Joe, gas station. You would attended, rather have no job. No, I wouldn't. No, gas station no attendant with the degree. You're online to be manager. Oh gas station. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right on sweet. Track. Now you get my a, life dream. Now fulfilled. you get a, Now you need to manage everyone else in the gas station. <laughs> I do love managing other people. Oh uh, yeah, you do. I don't know. love managing high school idiots, dropout <laughs> idiots. That's not fair. a big fan. I uh, thought you loved it. I love managing people who aren't that low. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like to micromanage, is what he's saying. He, likes he to, loves to micromanage. He doesn't. That's want his favorite I, part of video. I games. don't know. I don't know if Joe likes to I don't like to micro. I like to macro manage. I don't like to micro manage. It's, it's weird when you go to a film shoot and he's okay with people doing their own thing. It yeah. seems like. Yeah. So watching him direct thing. his film, he likes to macro manage. He likes to, he likes to divvy out the workload. Yeah. Yeah. And he likes people who know the basics. So he doesn't have to go in there and teach them the basics, and, which is what he's talking about managing at a gas station. Cause yeah. he has to teach them the basics of life is what he's got to do. With that. All right, you need life. to breathe every <laughs> few seconds. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go over there. There's a guy passed out. But it's if like, you move a lot, you got to breathe more. Yeah. <laughs> so a little movement, a little breathing, a lot of movement, a lot of breathing. <laughs> remember to eat and <laughs> actually chew your food this time. Please, just yeah. swallow remember, the banana. And the most important thing, <laughs> If you get everything else, the salad needs fresh meat. Yeah, <laughs> you make sure that you fucking check, meat is check fresh. The, check the date on those salads. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> day day of sales or it gets chucked. All right, I'm not gonna have this shit again. Uh, to be fair, on the film shoot, I was trying to be as professional and as as uh, amenable or nice as possible. When I'm put in charge of shit, I tend to micromanage the hell out of it. So I, I, that's a big step that you did there, Joe. And despite that, I still got a reputation from one person who is saying that I'm a controlling freak. Yeah. (laughs) Still, I swear to God. People don't get our humor most of the time. No, it's on that film shoot that we were on. It was from a different day. I, I, was a little short with one of the people on the crew because he was holding things up like crazy. And he, I, this is stupid because everybody is gossiping like little girls. Uh, I got a return back from a friend. He's like, Hey, just so you know, this guy's talking about you. And he's, uh, he's saying that you're, you're a jerk. And I'm like, I know exactly what guy you're talking about. He didn't say the name. And I was like, I know exactly who he is. And don't hire him. <laughs> Is it the dude who was doing the? Of course, he's bad. I'm not going to. I can't because he called him I don't. I can't. I think I know who it is. If it was someone who was it. there. Yeah, you probably do know who it is. Yeah. Then I think I do. Okay. That guy was kind of a fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> so joyless man. It seemed like I. I. Uh, you know. Whatever. I'm still an asshole, despite what you guys say. No, it's true. We're <laughs> not no, saying yeah, you're an, an asshole. asshole no yeah, we're what. not saying that you're not an asshole. We're just I'm an asshole no matter yeah. how nice I'm, I am. <laughs> just yeah. a nice ass. You yeah. just, it's just like there's a certain fume about you that just exudes asshole. Yeah, it, it grinds. <laughs> it is it, uh, the perfume that perforates. They just know the I'm senses. an asshole. Yeah. All right, so I have a couple questions here I want to burn through. Um, yeah, because fuck these questions. Just got to burn through. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think in a few weeks we're going to have like a, 
a big collection of questions. So keep an eye out for that, guys. And if you have any burning desire to ask us something. Yeah, literally say. ask us anything for that Q&A episode. Yeah, so. it's a little bit of ways. But um, said Cameron, Mass Effect Andromeda is the first big AAA game flop of 2017. So you were blowing it last week. Super excited. <laughs> well, I was. And Shinru yeah. says basically, fuck you, it seems like. Uh, it says cost $40 million to develop, <laughs> which isn't that much. Huge team. EA did what EA does best. People actually pointed out that Mass Effect 1 on the 360 ran and looked better than the new Mass Effect. I doubt that. It might run better, but... Looked looking better, better for its I don't, time. No, okay, I don't know about better running right better now. either, because I just played Mass Effect like last year. Or the year before, and it fucking glitched the fuck out on me. Like my character got blacked out by a. Uh, oh like my god! It happened were fucking to me too. Gone, yeah, and I played half of the game with my fucking character missing. That happened to me in my <laughs> PC playthrough. My guy was just like a shadow, and I was like, I mean, "What the? It fuck? was still like a fun game, but yeah, like that that is an issue." And you know, I decided I want to start at the beginning, and so by the time I get to number four, and if it's a shit game, it's a shit game, and then I'll review it as such. And he also shits on you he's like by the way you're running persona you don't want to play it because it's 140 hours he'd be persona 105. four the first time you played it in 60 hours persona one and two take about 30 to 40 the games are great and you never have even played them I mean, yeah i have not they're not dating sims but they do allow you to romance certain characters why can do you, you hate skip that romance? You, because these people get it's so invested you can do that in freaking any Mass bioware effects. game that's too. what he said yeah, yeah he said uh bioware all and day. that's just not something I'm going to do. Like and in, I will, like in Fallout Four, they added the 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 wifing system or you know whatever. And same well, thing with uh, Skyrim. And I'm I gonna wife her. And I didn't. <laughs> and I didn't buy yeah, into that. wife well, treatment. Okay. Grabs crotch. Every well, time I did not buy into that. <laughs> okay, the only the only game that I've actually bought into that is Fable, and that was because you can get a fucking item from doing it. Okay, so, hey, well, uh, and it's uh, also fucking fun. It, I didn't similar, do that. I didn't even do that. Hey, quest. There's hey. a similar thing yeah. for uh, in Persona yes. when you like each character you like develop a relationship with them like every single one you have like right. and they represent like a certain um aspect of like your personas which are your power that you use so you can like ch- choose one who's like a a mage focus kind of thing and just build up your relationship with them and that's really what it's about it's not really just a dating sim you can yeah. choose to go further than that if you want, with some characters, but it's really just so, building if, relationships. So if I play the game, then I'll play the game that satisfies me and kind of glaze over the dating part of it and enjoy the content that is there. Like, I'm just saying this from a standpoint of never wanting to go too deep into that type of game because on the surface level, I'm repulsed, but... Sorry, did I say repulsed? Sorry. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm, wait, what are you saying? Surface level of what? I'm you're, watching... You're being very vague here, Cameron. I'm just saying on the surface level, I, I'm not interested, but, you know... If, you do gotta push yourself. If I start playing this game, enjoy. I will live up to it. Say I'm a fucking retard. I enjoy these games. You don't have to say. It. We all know it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the unknown. It's the untold. But watching Caleb play <laughs> Tales of Asteria, my hopes are kind of. Uh, but what did you think of Final Fantasy 13 too? When you saw me playing that, I thought that looked fun. I, the, the menus were really complicated and fighting, but on the surface level, I didn't. It doesn't look like a bad game. Yeah, and it's totally not. Like, I was yeah. surprised that it wasn't a bad game. It's a fucking. So what you're saying is you're judging a book by its cover. I'm judging a book. I'm like, I'm like, (laughs) I'm I'm reading over his shoulder. I'm reading over Caleb's shoulder is what I'm doing. Yeah, but he does it with (laughs) movies and it does, it does piss me off the same way it pisses Joe off. I'm like, cause I'm over there. Like, I know, I know, Cameron, I, I know what you're saying. I agree. I, I agree with what you're telling me, but I still have to play this thing, and you're <laughs> shitting on it. And I, I have 20 more hours, and just can you just, just not? Don't tro- don't yeah. influence right. his opinion. No, it's not that. It's just God. I can shit on it myself. <laughs> if, it, it, it almost feels like a like a personal slight. Like, why are you playing that? Were you gay? I didn't ever ask you why <laughs> you're playing it. I'm just like I'm just like this. I'm just like looking at you. I'm like this is why, Caleb. This is why. <laughs> I'm like, look, man, I know, I know this is why. So yeah, he basically goes on to say that there's a lot of stuff like that. And, uh, I will say that when I go back to Dragon Age Origins, I will romance Alistair <laughs> in that game. I'm just saying as the facts, <laughs> like who, like as the facts in front change, of the fire. as the facts change, my opinion will change. And so if it turns out this is an enjoyable game, my opinion overall will change. I just need to play it. All right. I just need to play it is what it is. Well, uh, if people vote for it, then you will play it. If yeah. not, then this entire discussion is yeah. It's there's like forty minutes of the show. That's a I kind of want to play it now because 
Well, there you go, Kim. Well, then vote for it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so put up, when the is thing, that the vote? Poll, put up the poll like what right are we now. Doing that one. Um, Do it as soon as possible we'll so I can get the, the game as yeah. soon as it comes out so I can get it in and uh, there's enough time to beat it. Okay. Uh,. Do we want? Uh, do you have another question? I've or? got one more question one more. slash quiz for oh you guys. God, we're already doing a bunch of quizzes today. Yeah, I know it's quiz day. Quiz day. Um, this one. Get your quiz. So this is actually a segment Get that your I pen would. pen and paper. Write the answers down. And answer the quiz. Is that you're like improvised? Do we need uh, a paper jingle. Quiz. Actually, I think I like that. Gotta ask for quiz answers. Yeah. All right, that's going to be the drop. We're going to do a quiz segment. If you guys want to send us quizzes, send it to whoever you want to not participate. And then they'll just sit on the fucking sideline and ask everybody else the quiz questions, which is me this week, it seems. Nice. So this, uh, this comes from Pixel Edge, and he says, Hello, and welcome to the Nude Trivia Quiz. The answers have been sent to Caleb Schweiss on Twitter by direct message. So anyone answering these will either have to Google the answers or wait until Caleb answers them on the show to see if they were correct. Each host will be able to pick their own answer and get points accordingly. So it's not a group effort. Um, shit, how do we want to do this? Let's get, pen yeah, and let's paper. get paper. Yeah, pen and paper. Because I don't want anybody's answer to influence another person's answer, you know? Ooh. Uh, um, if you feel like someone's strong in RPGs and they say it's C, well, you might say it's C as well. So no. Why not just do first person to answer it? Um... No, there's only three options, so... I, uh, let's just total... Let's see who gets the most right, because I'm sure you guys are going to miss some of them. Another pattern. Let's see here. Da, 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 this is the part pens. of the show where we uh, Gotta look, look for, for all pencils. the writing utensils for the quiz. There you go. All right, guys. Here it goes. Question number one. Which of these games does not have a multiplayer mode? A. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. B. Resistance 2. C. Uncharted. Drake's Fortune. Mm. Wait, what were they again? Which of these games (laughs) does not have a multiplayer mode? A. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. B. Resistance 2. Or C. Uncharted. Drake's Fortune. And just a letter and we'll just run through them at the end. Can you use that in a sentence? (laughs) <laughs> wow this resistance 2 is so fun <laughs> metroid prime 2 echoes is my favorite game of the year uh, uncharted Drake's fortune <laughs> is a delight okay does everybody have their answer yeah okay you want me to give the answers now or yeah. you want me to just no, uh, well, no. i don't want the questions to be forgotten for yeah I actually yeah all right the answer and this one i actually knew C, Uncharted uh, Drake's yep. Fortune. Yeah, Craig, I, I had C too. written down first and I scribbled it out. Uh, I got one wrong. Okay. Alrighty, question two. Which one of these games was not developed by a Japanese company? A, Donkey Kong Country Returns. B, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Or C, Dark Souls 2. Which of these games was not developed by a Japanese company? Shit. I think Caleb probably knows this one too. I was thinking he did. 100%. Actually. All right. Has everybody got their answer? Yeah. 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 The correct answer is A. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Oh, damn it. Jeez, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, uh, I was, I was, yeah, Dark Souls I was totally, between that one and Dark Souls. I yeah. brushed that. I'm like, of course it was. So question number three, which of these series does not have a movie adaptation? Does not have a movie. Oh, no crap. A, Banjo-Kazooie. B, The Witcher. C, Dragon Age. I didn't hear about a movie for any of them. I know, I know. Uh, Caleb, look at his smug smile over there. He knows. And I think he wrote it down quite early. I can't imagine a Banjo-Kazooie movie. Yeah, me neither. But maybe there is I'm leaning on, actually. Okay, that's what I'm leaning on, because I saw Caleb's smug little smile. You guys got it? Smug little poker face. <laughs> He's always fucking bluffing, too. Yeah. You haven't played poker forever. Yes, we got it. The correct answer is a Banjo-Kazooie. God. Yep. Damn it. I, I had honestly, that written down. What I was honestly, the Witcher movie? Had, I huh? fucking I have no I idea. I put the Witcher. 
Uh, okay. That's a crazy one. <laughs> Question right. number four. Which one of these Final Fantasy games was not released <laughs> on the PlayStation Portable? A. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. B. Final Fantasy Type-0. C. Final Fantasy 3. This one I know the answer of, but... Uh... That's Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Final Fantasy Type-0, and Final Fantasy III. If you don't get this right, you should be sad about yourself. Uh, <laughs> knowing every single release of every Final Fantasy game is, is a bit much. So, you guys got it? Yeah. 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 I, maybe we should say what our answers are. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I you put Crystal ahead. Chronicles. Sam? I put B. It's Crystal Chronicles. Yeah, I Which got one, one right. B, <laughs> B was uh, Type-0. God that one damn was it. an HD port to PlayStation 4. Question number five. What was the code name for the PlayStation 4? A, Revolution. B, Orbis. C, Durango. <laughs> no. uh, okay. What was the code name for the PlayStation 4? Revolution, Orbis, or Durango? You guys good? I think so. The correct answer is... Huh. Is B. Oh! Orbis? Orbis? Orbis, yeah. I Fuck, I put Durango, man. What? And I'm going to go with my first instinct. Which one was called Durango? There was one. There was something called I Durango. think it might have been the, the Xbox One. Or was maybe, it? Yeah. Or, it sounds like a ridiculous Maybe it was the... It was something. Maybe I can't it was the PS4 was. HD or whatever. The, the Super One. <sighs> the Pro? Yeah. Um, it might have been that. Maybe. No, I think that I'm one pretty is, sure Durango is the is the code name of one of the systems before it came out. I'm sure it was. I don't think he put it in there if it wasn't. All right. Okay. Question number six, and sorry, we'll return to you guys giving your answers, because I like that more. Halo Combat Evolved was originally released as a launch game for the original Xbox. What was the release date? Extra point for guessing the month, and extra point for guessing <laughs> the day. So the year is what we're looking for. Oh, okay. Is it A, 2000, B, 2001, or C, 2002. Also, throw in a month and a date just for the <laughs> hell of it. There's a 1 in 366 uh, chance you'll get it right. <laughs> if it was a leap year. All right. But I can't tell you that. Okay, okay, I put August 3rd, 2001. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, Greg. Uh, I got August 13th, 2001. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Okay. April, April 28th, 2001. Only A. You're all right. It's B. It was 2001. Okay. But no one got the date. It was November 15th. No. no. I would have never gotten that because that's sick. <laughs> um, anyway, question number seven. Which of these games was developed in North America? A. Horizon Zero Dawn. B. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Or C. Fallout New Vegas. Which of these games was developed in North America? Okay. You guys good? Got it. All right, what do you got? Fallout New Vegas. I got Horizon Zero Dawn. New Vegas. It is Fallout New Vegas. Oh, yeah. And now we're tied, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Question number eight. Silicon and Synapse was a video game studio formed in 1991, which later became known as A. Treyarch, B. Blizzard Entertainment, or C. Rare. <sighs> Silicon and Synapse. Why am I circling that shit? Okay. All right. Hey, guys, guys. We talked about shit last week. Found out Blizzard was uh, Activision. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Activision, I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. It is, but they still develop. So. Yeah. still. What developer. do you got? I put Blizzard. Me too. too. I put Treyarch. It's totally Blizzard. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number nine. Which of these games did not have its music composed by Harry Gregson Williams? Good luck. <laughs> Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, or Assassin's Creed 2? So we've all played at least one of these games. Which one sounds the most off? Cameron, you got yours? I do not. Just guess. Okay. Yeah, if you don't know, just I don't fucking you know. You have a 33% chance of getting it right. It's true. All right, I guessed. I put Metal Gear Solid. 
I put Modern Warfare. I put Metal Gear Solid. It's totally Assassin's Creed 2. Damn it! <laughs> Fails across the board. I just assumed that, like, two of those games were Western games, and one of them was Japanese, <laughs> and so I picked the Japanese one as the one that was out. So That's I'm, fair. I'm surprised. Uh, this one is a Caleb throwaway question. It's all for you. You've got this. Uh, oh. Question number 10. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was developed by which of these studios? A. Bethesda Softworks. B. Bioware. Or C, Eidos Interactive. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Wait. was developed by which of these studios? Bethesda, Bioware, or Eidos? Oh, come on. I'm not 100% sure on this. I don't know All why right. you thought it was a throwaway right. for me. Right. You guys good? Yeah. yeah. All right, what you got? Fucking, I put Bethesda. Okay. I put Eidos. I put Bioware. It's Bioware. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good. I Good. actually knew that one. Because I think I remember the startup screen and Bioware being on there. So Yeah. Good job. Uh, what do we got so far? Good Thank job. you. How do you know? Tally up. Well, I know some of you got some of them right. So good job on those. I got five. Ooh. 50% to fail. I got uh, three out of 10. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 50% percent's a fail. I got second place. I got four out of 10. Oh, oh Caleb Craig. Yes. Of the trivia. Today. I was mis uh, mistracking Caleb Craig's score. <laughs> in my head. So you were just copying what he. Like, no, 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 no. He thought he was on par with him. But oh, was, uh, oh, I, I was tied with him when he I lost thought you were him, like but. watching his eyes and waiting for that like glint of recognition. The two marbles <laughs> colliding within his. <laughs> His skull. And like, One oh. thing I noticed, though, if Caleb <laughs> knew the answer off of the first uh, response, he immediately wrote it down. So that was a tell right there. Yeah. It's when he took it's a second a to think about it. Clearly, your science is somewhat flawed, though. Well, because he had to think about it for the most part. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, so the three, that, I didn't know immediately. the three that he knew immediately, you got right. Because well, I, got oh, one that, I got one that he didn't get. Yeah, yeah that's Bioware true, one. Bioware, yeah. <laughs> Good job, guys, and thank you. Um. Yeah, Pixel Edged for this quiz. That was really fun. If you guys want to submit those, I think that would be a fun little uh, section after the news slash questions comment or segment of our show. So, anyway, you guys right. want to you guys want to dig into some PlayStation Three? Let's do it. So earlier on this week, I got a message from Caleb Craig in, in the nude clan chat. There's a chat between the four of us that goes on for eternity yeah. you know, on the Facebook messenger. Mostly app. with insensitive <laughs> asshole posts. It's true. <laughs> lots and of memes, break. lots of, hey, what are we doing for this sort of thing? Uh, lots of me ignoring pretty much the whole thing because I'm asleep when you guys are talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lots of, hey, I didn't know we were recording at this time. <laughs> and then we're like, hey, we're like, we fucking we, said. We, we, we said it in the chat. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and the chat's a mile long, so. So I, I don't get any of that. But what I did get, I got one message this week when Caleb Craig said, hey, just found out PlayStation 3 is... Uh, they're stopping manufacturing of PlayStation 3. And that is partially true. Uh, it turns out they are stopping manufacturing of PlayStation 3s in Japan, but in other areas, they're still well, manufacturing yeah. them. I read that too, but I just didn't send the whole thing. And what it means is that the PlayStation 3 is basically, it's it's it just got cancer and it's going to die. <laughs> uh, and so... What we are looking at right now is the end of what I believe is a great console, the PlayStation 3, which has lasted how many years? It's been about 10. 10 years? 10 years of lifespan in the PlayStation 3. So we are going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a talk about a console that uh, we all came of age through. Except for Cameron. <laughs> Except for Except for Cameron. I had the Xbox 360. Who so, yeah. shall be ostracized for this conversation. <laughs> uh, just kick back and relax. <laughs> oh, I will. So because it will soon be the end just uh, for the PlayStation 3, I do have some uh, some things here. Uh, this is a pretty obvious one, but 
Who developed the PlayStation 3? Sony. <laughs> um, Bioware. <laughs> <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment, to be exact. Uh, and, of course, it was the 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 sequel <laughs> the, the yeah, the sequel to what? what one of the biggest consoles ever the the PlayStation the 2 biggest the biggest console the ever biggest? yeah okay someone's going to correct us on that they're going to get shit stormed for it i'm afraid uh, i don't i'm think, afraid of saying things i'm, now, I'm pretty sure that the ps2 is the biggest console it is. yeah it is. i uh, think the Wii is the what was the Wii, was the, so, the ds is right below it oh is the ds the okay. Wii is up there yeah, I know the Wii was really high up there. And they there. count all models of the DS, so yeah, which I'm is fucking sure stupid. they do, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. The, uh, the light, the big, and the, <laughs> the whatever, the so first one that they came out with. What year did the PlayStation 3 come out? 2006. That is correct, Caleb Craig. Yeah. yeah. Two, two. <laughs> I didn't know we were being quizzed again. I thought it was 2006. A discussion first. That's well, right. yes. I mean, okay. so it started in Japan and then it went, uh, I think it went to North America a few months later. I think it was J- June or July in Japan. I didn't write it down, unfortunately. But um, they were having some manufacturing issues at the time. And that was mm. like a big scary thing when it was coming over here. It's like, are they still going to have th- those manufacturing issues? Uh, how many units? Do you guys think that PlayStation 3 has shipped as of 2013? So obviously it's shipped a few more than this by now, but as of 2013, that's right. That was the latest date. Uh, Anyone else can guess? 500 million. million? I'm going to say 300. 500 million. I did, but that's not what I meant. One twelfth of the earth has a PlayStation (laughs) 3. Are you fucking nuts? (laughs) Maybe. Maybe I might be. The most successful. I don't even know if a twelfth of our show has a fucking PS3. I'm sure they do. <laughs> All right, probably. But well, what's your actual guess? Uh, <laughs> five hundred million. You heard him. I heard. You heard the man. <laughs> I kind of want to just stick with that. Just All right, fine. It's not five hundred million. I'll say. Uh, I'll say fifty million. I'm going to say one hundred million. <laughs> okay, Cameron was the closest. It was eighty million. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. As of 2013, so it's probably like eighty-one by now. Wow. Um, it's part of the what generation of video games? The seventh, the seventh, seventh generation. generation. <laughs> I said it earlier, knowing yeah. that it was the answer to the the question. Well, I knew that anyway. It pisses me off, okay. people. I'm sorry. Uh, seventh generation of video games, and at launch in Japan, especially, what two new technologies did the PlayStation Three utilize that led to difficulties in manufacturing? Uh, which eventually led to shortages in PAL regions. Six axis. Six axis. I don't know what that is. It's the thing in their controller that allows for like when you tilt it and no, stuff. No, it responds. Not that. Uh, Blu-ray, I think. Is Blu-ray one. format is one of them. And uh, PlayStation Eye. The the internet functionality, like the no. online play. Uh, it was a new type of microprocessor they were using for it. Damn it, cell microprocessor. That's what it said. So the Blu-ray format, I remember that was a big deal. Uh, apparently, it's claimed that the success of the PS4 is or the success of Blu-rays and the PS4s together is what sold each other. So like PlayStation 4 is the more that the PlayStation 4 sold, the bigger the Blu-ray format would become and then vice versa. So the PS3? PS3? Uh, the PS3, yes. Sorry. Every time okay. I say PS4 in this conversation, I mean the PS3 because... What if you mean the PS4? Then oh, it's what are we still PS3. To? It's still okay. PS3. No. So every time like the PS3 would sell, it would basically like now we have a blu-ray player in our home yep. and remember this is all the ps3 comes out and the blu-ray is the new thing right mm-hmm. the blu-ray mm-hmm. and another format is the right. new thing so they're kind of those two formats are warring with each other blu-ray and what was HD, it? HD. HD, yeah. there you go hd dvd twice started first um if you guys remember that i had I one do. friend who had hd dvds loser yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they had an Xbox 360 who I believe at the beginning of their stuff used HD DVDs. They did. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They Until lost it died. The, yeah. yeah. And a lot of the success of the Blu-ray is what led to the, the later success of the PS3 and vice versa. So PS3 success led to more Blu-rays in homes. So it's kind of important as far as like what became the big thing. And we're still in the Blu-ray 
sort of run i don't know if we'll ever hit another format because it's just going to be digital yeah it's kind of like cds it's like are we going to yeah, have another just, thing or is it going to be all digital? Yeah, digital even format, what they're yeah. doing now the 4k yeah. blu-rays are still blu-rays yeah, so. yeah like in 10 years <laughs> the standard is probably it might still be blu-ray or just pure digital same with cars like cd player is maybe the end of the line it's crazy so a thing that was big if you were if you can revert yourself back to when this system was coming out um a huge thing was the price of the system oh yeah it was $600 six hundred dollars six hundred motherfucking dollars oh yes and i just remember and that's u.s dollars i don't know what it is in your region if you're from somewhere else uh sorry uh, it's a shitload of it's a fucking shitload of money uh did anybody here craig did you get the ps3 on launch no i waited like oh, a year yeah no way okay. he waited until his makeover happened so yeah it was because of the <laughs> yeah that's, price, that's how i was right? able to, well yeah I yeah. think I think I still spent more money on my PS3 than I did my PS4. Yeah, I think you got it for like late. 500, right? Your PS3. I think it was 450. Was it 450? Yeah, that's still more than PS4. And, and I watched, waited till so. Resident Evil Five. That's why I bought it. I was like, getting this game. So the, the PS3 was the latest one in the consoles to come out. So the Wii came first, uh-huh. and it kind of like jump kicked the uh the new generation into being yeah nintendo likes and then the 360 it. along with halo 3 i think they both came out was that wasn't that a launch title um halo or 3 am I, going crazy? I think it was a launch title i think it was close if it wasn't a launch title, it was close to there and i think I'm it not, was a few months after launch uh and ps3 was a few months after the 360 the thing was that the the 360 although not technically as proficient of a system uh, and 2007 the is Halo 3. Okay, well then, totally wasn't. Um, despite it not being like as like impressive of a system, Xbox 360's price was not six hundred dollars. Right? No, yeah. I don't even remember what it, the 360's price was. I, on I the think launch. it was four hundred at I launch. I think so. It was but like that. It, six hundred is like once you go past the five hundred dollar mark, it's like whoo. You're getting close to a thousand. A thousand looks big, you know. Yeah, it's just a thousand is things. a PC, which is better. So uh, I, I, <laughs> I can't believe they put out a console. Even today, if they put out a console for six hundred, it'd be like, nope. Well, what's well, crazy? Remember though, when we looked yeah. at the inflation for some of the other ones, and they were some of them Thousands. were well over. Yeah, yeah well you remember over that? Like, this is yeah. six hundred. Like some is of the nothing. main selling consoles sure. were like six hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. So like we're bitching about six hundred, but one of those early ones is like twelve hundred dollars. But would you play <laughs> yeah. six, pay six hundred dollars for the PS Five? Mm, I don't know, dude. I'd no. wait a little bit. No, I I'd wouldn't. wait for yeah. the first price drop and then pick it up, probably. Right, and that's what most people did. Yeah. Um. So there were some exclusive titles, and I just want you to guess these because I didn't know what these were. Um. Some exclusive titles that were originally PS Two only. Um. Uh. Properties. And they decided because of the low sales of the of the PS3, they were going to go ahead and either release on the 360 or both the PS3 and the 360 simultaneously. Have any idea what some of those properties might be? Final Fantasy 13. That's right, Final Fantasy 13. Due to the low sales of the PS3 on launch. Although the PS3 copies of Final Fantasy 13, I'm pretty sure blew the 360 out of the water, but uh, it is the audience. The so. 360 I believe did 720p, so they had to compress the game more. Yeah, I had like They three also discs. had multiple and, discs. And and it also, makes me laugh when the I open HD it up. DVDs didn't ha- hold as much <laughs> space either. Yeah, they they no dude, like it's a 3 disc game I think on 360 or at least two. I think it's two disc, but Okay, fine, two. Whatever. I'm not sure, but that's what I think. Uh any other ideas? Um, originally Xbox exclusive, uh, originally PlayStation. PlayStation exclusive. That uh, when the PS3 wasn't selling as well, they announced that they were fuck, dude. I know there are others, and I have seen them, but I okay. cannot remember what they uh, are. I can't either. One that was a big deal, I guess, was beautiful Katamari. Oh yeah, Katamari. Those yeah, are always right. PS2 and yeah. PS2. Metal Gear Solid play- Rising. Oh, never played it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that LA, was a launch title. La Noir, which was repeatedly like put out as going to be PlayStation exclusive and then and then Rockstar I would was never like, have gotten that one. Eh. Yeah. And then Tekken six. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't So those are some pretty big titles. Uh can anybody guess when the PS three's first price drop was? <laughs> well let's the see first price out, drop. Yeah. 
came out in 2006, right? You said, yeah. what month did you say in 06? I think it was like, uh, I think it was summer. In in Japan, came out a little. I'm gonna later say September that year. September of 2006. 2006 yeah. Uh, January 2007. July 2007. Oh. so it was Cameron like doesn't even try almost yeah. a year. Yeah, Cameron. Sorry, I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> it's July 2007. Has nothing to offer. And they took that original, really nice model of the PS3 that was like backwards compatible and everything. They dropped it a hundred dollars, and then they put out another model of the PS3 that didn't have as much space, didn't have backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 consoles, which is pretty much the most common one that people have. And they were, I think they put that one out for $400. Um, so uh, I think, uh, when did the when did the slim version of the PS3 come out? The slim? Yeah. Mm, 2010. I'm going to say Christmas no, 2011. 2011. I'm going to say 2011. 2009. Damn wow. it. Yeah. Was Schweiss's Christmas second time or? Guess, guess was right. I don't know what time, but I just have the year. Well, fine. Uh, and when did the super slim, which is the fucking ugly version. <laughs> is that the one that you have? No. Well, there's another one. No, mine is the slim. There's a super slim. Does oh, Jesus. anybody know? Do you guys not know oh, what the fuck. PlayStation I three think I super slim looks about, like? Actually. I have, I have one. It so looks yes, like a retarded, uh, version. <laughs> That's that. I was about to say something um, like really terrible. <laughs> I'm going to go with 2011 again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll say 2012. 2011. Schweiss, you're right again. Wow. The Fuck you. Super Slim would come <laughs> out, out of his ass. Cash. 2012. Uh, and uh, which, which model, which PS3 model is the only one being manufactured today? The Soon, fucking the slim. Super Slim. No, I'm fucking super slim. Yeah, it makes sense because it's cheaper to make, right? The super slim, slim or the super slim, super slim is all they're making today. Super slim. Damn, I I would believe the slim because I don't. I I kind of know what the super slim is, but well, it makes sense that if they're going to still manufacture, they'll manufacture the cheapest. The one slim to make. is so much better looking than the super slim. <laughs> I actually kind of like the disc tray on the slim too. I used to think it was stupid, but like I, when I when I opened your disc tray, it was like Ksh! the way it came out. I was like, oh, that's that's not bad. Cause it, I don't think it looks it, that bad. It seems like a downgrade. You oh, know? I hate the little the slidey top thing though. That's yeah, how the other one so is too. Cheapy, but it's not as shitty looking. The Joe's one. Yeah, well, I bought mine for two hundred bucks, so it's uh, <laughs> <isn't> that bad. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that one's fancy. It still looks pretty lame though. I say. It looks oh, nice the PS3 gold. comes out right, <laughs> and it looks. I think people made like grill references and stuff like that at, at the beginning. Yeah, it does look shit? like a grill. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, it <laughs> looks awesome. It's got though, the right? lines on uh, top. Yeah, it looks like it the beautiful th- black sheen that eventually just became finger marks. Yeah, yeah. But a beautiful black sheen, <laughs> and then the the PS Slim comes out, and it's like it it kind of has like this different texture, but it's still a nice looking machine. <laughs> Super Slim is like. Yeah, it just looks like we put some like Velcro straps. Get on your it. George Foreman Super Slim grill. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Super it, lean it, meat. It your George Foreman Super Slim. Yeah. Uh, okay. When did you guys get your PS3s? And um, yeah, what what does the PS3 mean to you? It means I, uh, PS2 remaster. Is what the PS3 <laughs> means. <to> me. <laughs> you remember the PS2? Here it is. Here's all the greats from the PS2. That's. That's a big part they, of the PS3. Yeah, they did start bringing a lot of those with the HD updates near the end of the PS3. Yeah. And even like in the middle for yeah. some of them. Um, and it's Resident Evil 5 is the reason I got the console. I got it like a month before that game came out and I picked up. Was it worth it? <laughs> grand. Um, gee, Resident Evil 5 is okay. It's probably the third ish best game in the series um, behind two and four. It's like a shitty four is what it is, kind of. Um, it looked like an action movie. <laughs> it's a little more action-y, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's uh, PS3 to me is kind of the the HD life. Like, that's where it really began for me is like, okay, games on PS2. There are some good-looking ones. There are some not so great. If it's Metal Gear Solid, it looks pretty fucking great. If it's not hit and miss, right? Uh, PS3 just upped everything the ante is way higher the online is 
so much better than the PS2s online. <laughs> I played fucking hours and hours of Delta Force Black Hawk Down on PS2, and there's nothing that compares to that on the PS3. In far in, in terms of like shittiness and how brutal it was to get into a fucking match, there's like five rooms in the lobby, and there's one that has sixty out of sixty people, and then one that has like two other people in it. So the online just so went there's sixty two the people playing. Yeah, yeah. It, there's way more people online. There's a lot more uh, to do. The trophies. That's when it began with the trophy system that I love so much. Um, but honestly, I think. I don't know. I think the PS3 is a, I think it's a pretty solid, pretty solid console. I mean, it looks yeah. great in most respects. The games do generally end up looking a little better on that than the 360. The interface isn't quite as nice. It takes so long when I hit the middle button to go to the menu sometimes. But yeah, after, after playing on PS4, going back to doing stuff on the PS3 is like, what it's jarring. Fuck? I feel like yeah. there's something, yeah. you feel like there's something wrong. You're like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. And the loading times on some games, I'm like, Oh, I don't remember this at I all. Used to wait for this shit. <laughs> Still shorter than the fifteen loading times. And the- <laughs> yeah, that's true. When you fast, fast travel, <laughs> fast travel. Air quotes. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, the PS3 is. I don't know. I think it's a great console. I don't know if I like it more than the PS2, but I do love that they decided to go ahead and HD remaster a lot of the PS2 games. I think that's a great way to go about it. I think that kind of rejuvenates a lot of these series that have been such an important part of my teenage and early adult life and uh i i don't know i amend the ps3 for doing that or not i amend i applaud them for doing that i love that they that sony decided to bring back some of these old titles to make sure they stayed in the limelight i mean the playstation store became a big thing around then too we have access to all of these old school ps1 games through there and they're they're very well priced. I mean, you can get a lot of the Final Fantasy games for like 10 bucks, and that's a standard price. That's like, if it's not on sale or anything, it's $10. Yeah, and a few other ones are like five ninety nine. Yeah, five ninety nine for all sorts of games. I mean, games that I hadn't even seen for years and years, like that fucking medieval game that I was like obsessed with the demo of. On, that I had like this Pizza Hut demo disc on PS1, and that was one <laughs> of them, and I fucking, I had that thing down, <laughs> man. Like, I played that demo like a million times. That one in the MGS1 demo, I played the fuck out of. And like, so when I got to Metal Gear Solid and when I got to Medieval, the first part was just like 10 minutes. Just fucking mastered because <laughs> I knew everything. But the uh, having those games available, I think, is a, a great perk that the PS3 brought into the fray. And it's, I, I don't know, it's got some great things about it. I think the PS3 was the best of its generation. I know that the Wii is like the gimmick one and almost everybody in the world has a fucking Wii, including myself. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the Wii bowling's great. Or, you know, sports. whatever. Yeah, and it's fun. But to me, as far as like actual like video game gaming consoles, it's really just between the 360 and the PS3. Uh, and the PS3 technically... I think far surpasses um, either of the systems. I think that's been proven. Um, and that's kind of what it was about. The $600 like gaming machine. Yeah, that's why they had the Blu-ray. Yeah, the that's Blu-ray what it part was, was really what boosted the price. And too. the PS2 it was like the opposite of the generation before. The PS2, I think, was the first one in that generation to come out. It was out. the lowest quality. So yeah. it was the lowest quality of all of them, but it still had the DVD thing. Yeah thing that the xbox brought in when it came in late in the game where it was like you don't need memory cards Uh uh-uh memory cards are a waste of fucking time you still need a fucking kind of memory unit in the wii which is ridiculous um it's ridiculous that up to that point you still (laughs) needed that because that was the thing that i didn't even know memory cards existed because all i would do was play at my friend's xbox and i was like what do you mean on this machine you need separate memory stick things they have to buy separately are you serious? And I can't rip my music on here. This is stupid. Yeah. Um, so I think it took a lot of the stuff that the Xbox had and brought it over to its system, including online play, which, uh, which the Xbox had when they started Xbox live on the original Xbox. I think there was a Sega system though, that had online play. Am I the Dreamcast, Dreamcast I, think, I had, believe, yeah. had okay. online, but that was the one that like died in the water, right? That yeah. Was it did not dangerous. last very long. Someone oh, asked right. if there was nudity on the stream, so I pulled my shirt up. There you okay. go, Caleb. Oh. Do it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, milk that fucking thing. Oh. Woo. 
don't need to see that. If you ask nicely, oh. he'll put it in his mouth. <laughs> he, and he can. He can. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done that in a long ass um, time. Also, someone really quick says trophy system wasn't there at launch for PS3. That is yeah, really true. We discussed and it's that disappointing. Before. That's it another around. thing that it took from the Xbox midway through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it took the achievements straight from Xbox. Yeah, they did an update in 2008 to add the. And the I trophies. would argue they improved upon the. Uh, the achievement system. Honestly. Yeah, with the quality of the trophy, instead of like having uh, random achievements be like five to like fifty points. But what's funny is they still have point value. Like each one is worth a certain set of points. It's just the well, levels for the, towards the percentage, yeah, of the overall completion. Uh, it's more towards the level of your like online profile. So like I'm level twenty or something, seventeen, and each level has a certain amount of points you have to get to get to the next one. So it kind of took it, you know. A bunch of different ways. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, man. I the the reason I got the PlayStation though was for the Final Fantasy games. Um, that was a pretty big deal to me. I was always impressed by watching Dylan play uh, Metal Gear Solid Four, which I've still never played, but I want to because it looks awesome. Um, and there's a whole bunch of classic games from the from the PS3. We'll get into soon. Cameron, you don't have like any experience with the PS3, do you? I do because I would borrow it from either Caleb or Caleb. <laughs> yeah, I think I loaned you uh, my PS3 yeah. and Red Dead Redemption, didn't I? Yep, PS3, Red Dead Redemption, and was it Modern Warfare? Was it two Modern Warfare two that I play online? Yes. Yeah. So you loaned me both those titles, and that's where I got my love for the Red Dead Redemption game. And I can't wait for the next one to come out. Yeah, Red Dead 2. Yeah. Um, one thing we were arguing about before the show started, no, and Cameron no. got pretty pissy about this. No, no, I, <laughs> I was... It, okay. okay, he was into it. How about that? I was doing it because I knew it was going to be a great discussion. So, but yeah, Cameron believes that the online mode, the Xbox Live, is a better... It or, was a better service no, than man. the live service you'd get with PlayStation whoa, 3. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you never said how you measure better and i would argue that free in many ways is is better better. if you're looking at it from the it's free standpoint then of course but if you're looking at it i want the best service available then no but like how much better because they actually paid people to take care of what is the dollar percentage better (laughs) <laughs> see, you're going. You want a breakdown, but all of my my, my, my rebuttal is this: is the pros online, and cons of cost versus what you get out of it. But well, how much if you was, don't have to pay for online service for the PS3? I'm not talking the about PS4 a cost now. comparison. I'm saying which one is better at the. But at, better, what is better. You can't. You can't keep is, saying. I'm is not asking open your, for your fucking opinion. <laughs> I'm asking for what is better. That well, is asking for an opinion. Yeah, because you no, can't, you can't say because how what okay, what facts? That it because was free is better. <laughs> All right, look. Because you didn't have to pay to watch okay. fucking Netflix is the online, because you didn't have to pay to go online yeah. and use the internet. Is the online service for PlayStation 4 now free? No. No. For some games point, it is. Point MMOs. Case. MMOs that have separate setups, yeah, separate servers. So when you say yeah. better, some of them do. You need to specify if the quality of the online connectivity yes. and gaming is better on the Xbox 360. I agree wholeheartedly. Xbox Live is a better system. Than I can't PlayStation attest Network. to that right Even now. now. I would say I don't know. I haven't have I haven't played PlayStation on Xbox gets so hacked like way more often than fucking Xbox does. It's true. Their security measures are worlds better. Other than that, or. Fucking anonymous just really fucking hates Sony. I, I don't know why. Well, why would they, because they've been giving out indies why would instead of AAA Sony? titles for their free games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> fucking losers, <laughs> suck it. Uh, but I, I do agree with Cam, and I do think the Xbox that Xbox Live is a better service. Now it does cost. I money. don't know if it is now. I can't yeah. attest to that now, but back in the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 era, it was. And I can attest to that because I played both systems online. But when you just ask better as a blanket statement, when I, I have to think cost comparison. So what you're getting no, with the PS3 asshole coming out. perfectly good playability for free yeah. online versus marginally better playability on the Xbox Live. Having played on both i mean not too much on the xbox live but having played on both i never really experienced any huge problems with the ps3 besides that what when it was down for three months which there was was that that huge hack but then they gave everybody free games in order to make up for it the ultimate in xbox players going well our internet service wasn't down for three months 
Yeah. Like, um, yeah, we know. I agree. And it was nice. I That was one thing that I loved about the PS3 was being able to play online with yeah, friends for like, free. As a kid who couldn't afford the $50 a year, who, who would every now and then get the three month package for Xbox Live, I guess free in that sense would make it easier to play with your friends online, which is the whole real reason why you want to play online. That's but right. as an online service, Xbox Live was better. Yeah, I agree. I do. I think I can't attest to that right now. I'd have to borrow an Xbox and play it online to see if I get less Xbox. I have an Xbox, but not Xbox one. Xbox one's the same as PS4 online. Are you certain? Are you certain? I don't know. I I don't know. I I have, have I have both. I played online. So yes, no, I have to play it online too. They do get better AAA titles and PlayStation four does though. For their free games. Well, that's because they have backwards compatibility and they've been offering a lot of Xbox 360 games. Yeah. And that's really what they're doing. They're not doing anything different. A lot of their titles are also indie games. But the, for their backwards compatibility, they're doing a lot. Uh, that like, Because like, some of the PS3 ones that they've been doing for the PlayStation Plus have also been great. Uh, Maybe, uh, they offered Dragon Age not too long ago and then a few other ones. Yeah, but when I looked at last month's free PlayStation 3 games... Okay, yeah, it's not indies. always it's not always great. You're right. PlayStation has been doing a lot of uh, a lot of indie games for some reason. <laughs> Paul, uh, it's one of the comments. <laughs> so, uh, one of the comments on Twitch here. This guy says you're so sexy, and uh, <laughs> someone else says, "Is that a beanbag?" <laughs> and then they called you Paul Blart. So, oh man, hmm. Paul Blart's <laughs> skinnier than Caleb is. Yeah, fuck you. And, <laughs> and yes, he is part beanbag. It's a uh, it's in his G. It's uh, nice. You can cuddle up with him. Yeah. yeah. As long as he's showered. Yeah, that's true. That's it. <laughs> that's for most people, though, okay. Cameron. I know. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> anyway. You normally want that from other people. I yeah. think I think the PS3 is, is pretty great. Uh, I do. I'm going to quiz you guys on a couple more things. Okay. Should uh, hold the paper a little. <laughs> Seventh <laughs> gen sales. So the PlayStation 3 against the Xbox 360. Um, how much did the Xbox 360 sell? So uh, you know we, the PlayStation 3 sold 80 million. 81 million. 81? Mm. I'm going to say 90 million. 90? Stay away 87 me. million. Caleb Schweiss was the closest. It was 84. Wow. Yeah, PS3 almost caught up to 360. That is a crazy later cycle that they had like they were getting fucking trounced for a long time during that generation like the worst by far i think it was it's a combination of the ps3 price going down the blu-ray system getting more popular and then the xbox 360's red ring of death couple of years oh oh, yeah i I suffered i suffer from that hard yeah so so, i mean (laughs) how are we to believe there are 84 million in sales when everyone had to buy that's a new one because yeah they had to buy new ones at launch too because some of them fucking caught fire I've had three. Number? I've had three Xbox 360s, but two of them I, were two of them <laughs> were from someone else, so they don't actually count towards sales overall. So I bought them used. Is what I'm getting. Oh, at. Okay, yeah. I well, have Cam, had Cam, one PS3. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Cam, Cam, you've had three. <laughs> Caleb, how many PS3s have you had? I've had one PS3 <laughs> for like nine years, and it's fucking great. Yeah, the Red Ring of Death it happened when I was playing um, Call of Duty World at War online with some nice guys that never met again because it was the one time Great we played. Guys. And then as I'm playing, my Best whole my guys. whole screen started uh, getting lines in it. I'm like, oh shit, guys! I think this is it. This is the this is the end. Mm. So, uh, what about the Wii? How many, how many units did the Wii sell? How many units did the Wii sell? Yeah, uh, <laughs> 155 million. 155. 160 million. 160, Cameron. <laughs> How many what? Sorry, I was reading the comments. They're pr- quite good. Yeah. Okay. The How many on. units did the Wii sell? Uh, oh, wow. So I think the Wii. This is did, one of the most selling consoles like ever. I'm going to guess 110 million. I think it was 170. Okay. No, Cameron was the closest. Yes. It was 101. Oh, really? Oh. That's it? Oh, yeah. That's it. 100 million units? Nothing. Oh. It doesn't touch Shop the PS2. Change. It is. Uh, anyway. Cheapest console, too. Barely made money. <laughs> it was 250 I think, wasn't it? Two fifty. It was launch? cheaper, yeah. It was nice. Yeah. I think... Uh, it would have been nice if anybody could have fucking got one. I wonder if yeah. someone can look at a chart and see, like, 
amount, like how much did the console cost at launch yeah. versus how many units it sold? I want to see what that chart looks like. It probably looks... Well, you know, the thing is, though, is I think the Wii U was the uh, cheapest one, wasn't it? Uh, I think yeah. it was 300 Yeah, yeah. so and it so, did yeah. not sell as much as the others so far. Although Nintendo kicked off a new gen, sort of, with the Switch. Um, <laughs> that one kind of disrupts that a little. So maybe it's the recession. Maybe it's the economy at the time. That I don't know. Affected it. I think the Wii U just had a shitty launch. Well, I also think the Wii, the Wii U did so have a shitty launch. Oriented that that's why it was so a lot of the thing deal. that Xbox knew it could get to the market early um, if they cut some corners, and they did. And so by a console at launch, you got some shitty models out there that uh, overheated like crazy. Yeah, the ones right. that caught fire and yeah. exploded. And the ones with the Red Ring of Death and they had all these tricks you could do online with the fucking pennies and oh, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. using them as heat heat sinks and stuff like that. So, yeah. I have a list here of the top selling PS3 games. Okay. I'm going to go through them. If you played them, let us know. Motorstorm, Pacific Rift. Is that the best <laughs> selling? <laughs> no, this is one of the best selling. Oh, I was like, fuck that. No, one million. Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Okay. I, I've been interested in playing that one just because I know it's Studio Ghibli. And like, I'm usually a fan of Studio Ghibli. Maybe, right. maybe unless, you and I should nominate it as a unless game. It, it's that terrible <laughs> fucking Tales from Earthsea movie, which is an awful fucking movie. Yeah, it's not the best. Except, except for that one. They've all been from decent to amazing. Um, Ratchet and Clank future tools of destruction i've actually played that one so you have played yeah. that one tell us about it. um it was fun i was at a not so he was like a friend kind of forced friend and he had it on his playstation 3 and so we take turns and that's about my experience of that for mm. ratchet and clank yeah oh. red dead redemption <laughs> we have, we've all played that <laughs> amazing game the best, best game ever made the best I've, game i've never played great tomahawk game. from miles away that's right it's my i owned it for a while and i traded it mm -hmm. uh, i had to go pick it up again for the xbox 360 because i wanted to play it mm. so yeah minecraft playstation 3 edition eh. wow eh. no heavenly sword no nope. uh, nope. didn't play that one i played the demo at, i wanted uh, to play that one though Resident Evil 5. Oh, yeah. The reason. I played that one for a little bit. I played I, a little bit of co-op mode with I that have, one. I played a little bit of that with See, Caleb. it's Resi 4. High Not death, at all. Pretty much. Yeah. I death. think I thought it was easier to play than Resi 4. Really? Personally, yeah. I, I It might smoother. be. I can't get that far into Resident Evil 4. I'm just bad at it. I'm yeah. bad at the standing and shooting. I can't. <sighs> Sounds like a nude clan nomination <sighs> here. <laughs> Cameron De and Joe. Demon oh, yeah. Souls. Um, no. I, did, I did play some of that. Oh, yeah, you bought it for me, and I played like an hour with you, and then I said, I'm not playing this fucking game anymore. Actually, I did play with too you. too hard for you. I, well, did play, fucking... I did play with you at your on your bed in Springville. Yeah, I played that. Yeah. Yep. Call of Duty World at War. Oh, yes. Yeah. We, that game got the shit played out of it. Yeah. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah. yeah we played that Never one. Played oh, it. yeah. That oh, was no, the, I played multiplayer once. That was the COD it. days when COD was good. <laughs> Modern Warfare. Yeah. <laughs> PS3 era. Do you guys think the first one's better or the second one? For uh, Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare, yeah. Probably the second one, in my opinion, just because like of how much we played online. The first one I didn't really play online. I think the, the first, first one one's was a really story good. Story was probably game. better, but like playing uh, playing multiplayer, like having that hundred percent accurate P ninety is fucking bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> I love the campaign in that first game. It was a good campaign. So good. Infamous. I played that one. <laughs> I've twice. played a little bit of it, not quite. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the superhero one? Yeah, yeah. it is. Oh, okay, All played right. it. Beat it. It's great. Kill Zone 2. Loved it. Uh, I played that Fucking one. Fucking awesome game. Yeah. Loved that shit on launch. It was so good looking at the time, dude. Sick. Devil May Cry 4. No. Yep. No. I'm straight. <laughs> 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 Fuck no, you. It doesn't look that bad, but it. I don't know. I just looked at it. I okay. Like, mm. So this was before the Devil May Cry reboot. Yeah. Version? Yeah. For, okay. For DMC. Yeah. So I didn't even know there was a fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. There but is. it sold it's two not, million copies. It's so. not. It's not that great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next is the God of War collection. Oh, yeah. Own it. Platinum. That's, both games. Is that the one that has uh, one, two, three and no. the two PS? I think it just has one the two. two. One and two. Just one, one and two. two remastered. Yeah. Okay. 
That's crazy. Kind of sad that one of the top PS3 games is, is a fucking remaster a collection. Remaster. Yeah. Uh, Resistance Fall of Man. Hmm. Anyone? No, I didn't. Uh, actually, actually I did play a little bit of that one. Okay. I think Dylan played it. I think I might have watched him play it for a little I bit. I think I borrowed it. I, I was kind of okay. disappointed with what it looked like because I played Gears of War a lot on uh, 360. Well, it did, yeah. It kind of reminds me of Gears of War, but uh, first person ish yeah. and not as good. Yeah, I didn't dig what I saw. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. <laughs> Anyone play Oh, that yeah, I one? did play Uncharted. Sorry. The fuck is wrong with you guys? I what don't know. They're about? they're distracting me. I never played Uncharted. I, have not uh, yeah, I think I'm the only one out of us that's the played chat, Uncharted. The chat, Cameron, chat I'm skull. gonna kill your ADD fucking skull right no, now. No, no. I need I can need to I keep checking to see if he's uh, said anything about me yet, oh, but he okay. hasn't. Neither me or you. Uh he said Harry Potter on the right. That's, so that's, that's him. It's he's wearing the Just because he's wearing glasses? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean he doesn't know that's I live in a closet, late. so Okay. By your choice. I know it's by my choice. No, 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 they should on you too. Said the only boobs the guy on the left has touched is his own. No, they're talking about kill with that one. Because he's on the left. Because you have to look from their perspective. I am. So if he's on the left, we're on the right. Because they're looking at that way. Or Cameron, look, Joe is on the left. Oh, I guess yes. Unless, of course, they meant center left. Anyway, moving on. Okay. (laughs) Grand Theft Auto Four. I played a little bit of that one. It's terrible. That's a lie. (laughs) It's a good game. No, it's terrible. It's probably one of the lesser in the series. I would say I haven't played one or two. So I would put it below. San Andreas is way better. Uh, yeah, San Andreas is the best Grand Theft Auto game. So, well, I haven't completed five, so I, I can't say. But yeah, it's the best one I've played. Yeah, me too. Final Fantasy Thirteen. I played that one. Hell yeah! Working Hell on yeah. beating it. Should beat it. Good Little game. Big Planet. I have that one. Heavy played Rain. It. Played that yeah. one. All right. All of us have. So we're no. gonna Cam Cam had played every Oh, that. I thought you reviewed it. It was these no, it was me. No, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Yes, mm-hmm. another good one. Motor Storm. No, nope. That one's way high up here. Wow. Motor Storm. I didn't play that. Motor one. Storm. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, I played that one. We plenty. played the fuck out of that oh, one. Yeah. yeah, I dig that one. Uh, Gran Turismo Six. Nope. No, <laughs> none of those racing games. It's funny. Really. I know Gran Turismo sells a lot. I've never played Gran Turismo. Really? Ever? None I of played them. the shit out of the first three. I dude. think I played a little bit of one. It was on PS One, right? Yeah, one. Okay, two I played PS1. a little bit on the PS One, but I haven't played it since. Yeah, I, I had so much fun, but then I got really old. God of War Three. Oh yeah, launch title right there. Yeah. I picked Not that launch one. title. I bought it on its launch. I'm gonna let you guess how many millions of copies God of War Three. Four sold four million. What was the last? How much did the last one sell? I'm not going to tell you. I'll give it away, you fucker. It's either four <laughs> or five. So you should choose five. Uh, yeah, I'll go five. Five okay. million. I'm going to say four. It's five. Five point two. Okay. Uh-huh. Five million. Look at that. <laughs> Gran Turismo Five Prologue did a little better than it. Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of the Patriots. Six mil. I bet. Uh, yes, actually. It's a great exactly. game. Six I bought mil? that on launch two. The number that it's on here that says it says six mil. Uh, can you guys guess the top five that we haven't mentioned? The top five games? Top five selling PlayStation 3 games. Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, that's one of them. Top Are five? You serious? Yeah. Fuck yeah. It just it barely is. came out like a few years, like two years ago. No, it came out on PS3. Dude, I, I know, bought it when I, know. I lived I'm, at, I'm talking about PS3. I bought it when I lived at uh, the one place near Walmart in Springville. I, know, or, like, I didn't or expect them to just... Okay. It was a huge motherfucker, dude. Well, I, think I know, but it came out on PS4 or, and... Uh, I just, okay. Grand Theft Auto 5 is one of them. Uh, Modern Warfare 3? Uh, no. Black Ops? No, we already went past that. We already went past Black Ops. Yeah, Black yeah Ops? that was. Yeah. We talked about Black Ops. <laughs> okay. We talked about Black Ops and Modern Warfare Two, which uh, wiped it out of your mind. Okay, uh, so guess. GTA Five is one. Yeah, GTA Five definitely. Um, Red Dead Redemption. No, that was lower. Damn it. Red Dead deserves to be up there. Yeah. Yeah. If we already mentioned it, it's not in the top five. Oh, okay. <sighs> I have no idea, I, dude. I the top five highest selling PlayStation Three game. For some reason, we can't fucking. Okay. I don't know. We don't know. So Gran Turismo had two different versions. Gran Turismo 5. One of them was just Gran Turismo 5, which okay. is another one of them of one of the highest selling. 
uh, The Fucking Last of Us. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, Last of Us. I'm going to say Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3 is one of them. Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is the <laughs> other one. Well, I forgot. Twice, guess three out of five. Look at that. Look at that. I was like, oh yeah, Naughty Dog was All like, right. God. Yeah, those last okay. two Uncharted games did so really well. We know, uh, we know they are The Last of Us, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto 5, Uncharted 1, and, or Uncharted 2 and 3. What order? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 is number one. Last of Us yeah, is number definitely. two. Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2. No, Uncharted 2 would be higher than Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, and then Gran Turismo. Caleb? Uh, Ditto. Okay. um, (laughs) Grand Theft Auto, uh, Gran Turismo. um, Yeah, the two Uncharted's and Last of Us. uh, Uncharted 2, Last of Us, Uncharted 3. Okay, Cameron? Um, just do all five Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this works in the theater. Um, so uh, Grand <laughs> Theft Auto number so Grand Theft Auto number one. Um, right below that, Last of Us. Then I'm going to do with Gran Turismo. Then Uncharted two and three. Okay, none of you guys were really that close. Caleb got two of them in a row, so he's good. He got it. What Grand Theft Auto five is the top one. Okay, with. Uh, we're going to find out how many millions of copies sold. Oh, it's too huge. fun. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 follows second biggest game. Shit. The Last of Us is the third biggest game. You guys were putting The Last of Us down. I put it as number two, didn't I? Uh, you might have. Uncharted 3 is above Uncharted 2. It's what? Sales. Yep. It's by 100,000 copies. So. That doesn't make any sense. It does make <laughs> sense. The The biggest Megadeth CD came after the best Megadeth CD. That's yeah, how it goes. You, you get a great game. People, you would think that people would buy the previous game and then buy well, the Well, the next thing one. is, is there's those I guess, who, Well, I guess the third one did have like online. Yeah, it had online. Then there was those who thought two was a super incredible game. And then new people got onto three. And then the people that love two got onto three. It makes sense. <sighs> okay. That's I what guess, happens. But. Okay. Eh. How many millions of copies did Grand Theft Auto Five sell on the PS3? That's right, ten million. Mm, Nine point eight million. I'm going to say. I'm going to say ten million. Guys, go higher. Fifteen. Uh, wow, really? Forty. I, I'm, I'm thinking around the around the forty million. Actually, yeah, it says half of PS3 users got Grand yeah. Theft Auto Five. I yeah. don't think so. Um, I'm going to say with forty. Okay. 12 million. I'll say 20. It's 21. Wow. 21 million Jesus copies Christ. of Grand Theft Auto 5. And I think Gran Turismo was like way below it too. Yeah, Cause Grand I do Theft remember there being okay, huge Grand Theft Auto 5, 20, 21 million copies. Gran Turismo had 11.9. Jeez, dude. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto was, it was a big fucking deal, man. <sighs> Obviously a, a huge money. fucking deal. Yeah. Anyway, that was the PS3. Uh, I think it's an excellent system. Yeah, it's an amazing where do you, system. Where do you rank it among systems? In your systems. <laughs> well, then we'd have to <laughs> come up the with a rank for that systems. We've ranked, yeah, number one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I guess if out of this the ones the we've first, ranked, yeah, this is the first one we've ranked. I think yeah. the PS4 is better than the PS3. Do you? Yeah. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know if it's the PS4 being agree. better than PS3. It is. It's I totally better. What? Why is that? Well, if you're thinking think so. at the system by itself, well, it's obviously like with the, the with system the, by itself, <laughs> the, users, is the user better. interface interface is better. The amount of updates that they do comes out more often to fix anything. Um, I'm a fan of that the, sleep it's mode. Got, you get all those updates done while you're not at the PlayStation. Yeah, the s- <laughs> sleep mode. <laughs> uh, the fucking internet is better. The <laughs> like everything <laughs> is better. Uh, the only thing that the, the titles. Are uh, are about the same because they keep remastering some of the PS3 ones too. Yeah, if we're if we're gonna call the PS3 a good console because it remasters PS2 ones, I well, don't know. PS2 is the best console. Yeah, I would I would still say PS2 is the best console if ever. Consoles, but Super PS2. NES. Oh, get out of here! Super, <laughs> NES, Super <laughs> NES is awesome, but PS2 is Super better. Super NES is more more classics. Well, uh, anything. Oh, okay. PC, anything. PC number one. Yeah. yeah, I'll fuck you. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Your PC is better than your PS4 too now. That is true. 
You don't. Need, what do you use it for? What, what video editing? I write and I, I he uses it for a cat's bed. Mm. I uh, <laughs> missing. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna things. download Civ on there soon. We're gonna all do the Civ party that we wanted to do. So, <sighs> have you not downloaded Civ on there he has yet? Not yet. No. It'll take. He, like he's 10 been, dude. He's been dude. constantly rendering. Yeah. Like I've been watching him just do video edited stuff on that so far. Mm. Well, shit. Yeah, that was good. Um, okay. Fuck. Yeah. We gotta. We should do more of these, or we review the consoles, or like actually review the consoles too. Like break it down um, into like user interface, um, library. I don't know if graphical no, capability, graphical capability. You can just be. look that shit up. Uh, well, most of them would be very, very comparable. So I guess maybe that wouldn't work. I think it'd be library and the user interface might be the only two things to gauge a console on. If we were to actually rate it like a nude clan review where all four of us got together and said, okay, PS three, what the library gets a nine out of 10, the online service gets blah, blah, blah. That'd be tough, though, because some of those older consoles don't have really much as far as online goes. Yeah, it would um, still just be, like, the interface and then Yeah, but, like, PS2's library. interface, like, what? The fucking... The little browser to go on to the... The, um, the memory the, card? The, yeah, to like, go on the memory card. And system the, the, config and fucking browser for your save data? <laughs> it's like, that's all you need. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, but, going through that browser history on a borrowed PS3. Uh, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to tell us about that campaign? I just found out the subcategory of porn that Caleb's into is all. Yeah, the uh, long distance squirting category. It's all the, about uh, the competition. It's uh yeah, the long distance machine squirting is what he's going. For. <laughs> well, it's hilarious because I mean I I look at it now or when I found out. And Cameron didn't tell me about it for a very long time. I think right? I told you right away. I, mean, I don't it's know not if something, he did. It's not something I would uh, not tell you. I I think for years you probably thought that no. I you were already defamed in my eyes. So don't worry about I was that. only into <laughs> that one particular. I or, I knew for a fact that you're into a lot of uh, funny shit with the gifts you'd send us. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Four chan. There was. A but time. Uh, I go to open up the internet, and then in your browser, see right there is just this two women just lying down, getting just pummeled by this huge <laughs> fucking machine. Yeah, it's a. Jesus and then they have uh, <laughs> no 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 and, and then, then and then when they reach orgasm they kind of like scoot off to the side to then shoot <laughs> yeah it's like Olympics onto onto brown construction paper how oh, far yeah, how it's far got, they it's could got squirt. measurements and like it was like a no. squirting competition and I was like I watched this thing like four times I bet like, <laughs> to completion I was like I was like studying and I was like man this is like some underground Olympic what shit what the fuck oh yeah and then the then you had the one the one referee chick who was naked also just yeah, to yeah, watch yeah. the just distance. watching yeah and making sure like they were abiding by the rules you know and then she's just making sure the machines were doing everything right right, right. no so. one was getting a uh, special treatment pounded <laughs> a little harder by the machine um, but then yeah that was the content of that video that yeah. Caleb had left for me as a little treat yeah like I, I was studying it the night before and then the next day I loaned my PS3 to camera and <laughs> years and years went by and then every time he looked at me he just remembered that I video remember. he's, he's, like, he's, uh, he's into the power <laughs> fuck with the machine like literal <laughs> yeah. literal plug and play yeah <laughs> i'm all about that plug and play oh man who will go the distance i, I know too much about my friends porn's habits and I, I actually <laughs> How do you feel about it in general i do keep it very quiet to myself so uh, uh, <laughs> some people did, didn't figure out incognito mode or clear bad blah browser history or i don't fucking care I, yeah. Caleb, Caleb I, just fucking goes for no, it oh you don't care <laughs> <laughs> um, look bro- man all i'm gonna say is it's not my sister oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah uh, Caleb still has the dedicated browser to porn on his, uh, on his desktop. The one browser that no one opens. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right, Internet Explorer oh, equals God. porn because no one wants Internet Explorer, right? So no one's going to go in there. You might as well make your porn and experience and then, and even then more frustrating. He doesn't use incognito yeah. mode so he can remember that video that did it for him so he yeah, can just go yeah, back in right. there. Oh my God. <laughs> that's getting more bang for my video click. Like, <laughs> if I could beat off 10 times to a video, uh, why wouldn't I? 
Jesus. Uh, He's an OG porn watcher. I like I imagine <laughs> most of that is waiting for the video to buffer if you're watching it on Internet Explorer. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to make us your default browser? No, shut up. No, I would never <laughs> like to make you my fucking default browser. Jesus I would delete Christ. you if I could. Give me the uh, porn. <laughs> you can't delete Internet Explorer. Yeah. It's true. I've tried. I've like gone through and uninstalled Internet Explorer, and if you try to open up an internet file, it will still have it as an option. Yeah, and it will still totally work. It, wa- it wants you to have it. it. It's like a fucking I don't know, it's like, like a virus, a, like an STD. It's just there, always <laughs> ready to flare up. Anyway, who wants to get fat? We can get fat. We can get Are fat. we already fat, fat? Fat two times in a row. Oh. Fat two times two in a row. two episodes. We got fat last episode. <sighs> you know, did we? Yeah, we did. We got fat. We last accounted week for was our goals. Dark Siders. No, was it last week? No, last week was uh, not Dark Siders. Oh, we, that's right. We okay, we already, got, we already yeah, got fat. The, the fucking bonus episode. It's it's true. That's true. Get fat. All right. How are things going? Good. Good. I haven't bought any more new games. That's good. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, still reading my books so I can catch up. Where yeah, uh, I'm like two books. I I have uh, I have a few to go. <laughs> two, I'm like Caleb. Two out of twenty four, right? Yep. Uh, a little that? behind. A little bit. A little it's, bit behind. It's, Believe me, you're not as behind as someone else who. Yeah, Caleb's uh, like more uh, books. What are you behind? But like is eight now does have more books than you. Yeah. So. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. That he has to go through anyway. No, both. Both. So if you're only two He has books more books it, than I do? Yeah, he does. What? When did you read books? You never read books. <laughs> I read. Lies. <laughs> did you fucking lie to Picture me? Picture books don't count, Kayla. We don't know this. Look, if it's in Goodreads, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's right. <laughs> it's just going through green eggs and ham like... Yeah, well, I mean... Every a, version. A, there's, some, there's some great things to be had in those oh, books, yeah. these novels. Yeah. All right, right so everything just dis- uh, all right. Uh, yeah, everything's uh, yeah, all right. Up, okay, camera. Uh, okay, so um, after I finished the Smart Investor, I haven't picked up another book yet, so I'm definitely behind. Uh, goal of thirty nonfiction books. I got two out of the thirty done Sweet. so far. <laughs> Good job. Um, that means I'm going to have to do a lot of crunching here pretty soon to get that in. And speaking of crunching, have not made it into the gym. <laughs> And uh, they gave when me. When have you ever made it to the gym? Cam not Cam. this year. Last year I did all the time. But so oh, they, all, all the time. Yeah. But all those, all those all those episodes no, where you're like, I didn't make it. Yeah. The personal trainer gave me a call and I'm like, Hey, where have you been? Uh, you Are you some, still paying him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just throwing away money. Um, you at this point, I have shit, no, no. Dude. I st- I can still use my uh, personal training stuff, so I can go a million times right now if I wanted to. Oh, so it builds up. Yeah, wow. and it rolls over. You got like a bank of personal <laughs> training. He's like, yeah, we got to get you in here and get uh, get you know working on your goals. Hey, you know, I've been thinking about getting in shape five years from now. <laughs> yeah. I'll just start paying that right now, and then I'll like have a few months. And I'll just get right in shape. That's good um, shit. Uh, comic book stuff. I still need to swing by the Dragon's Keep and pick up my reserved copies of the comic book series I decided to start reading. Um, and yeah, that's it with the money thing. I'm still putting away my X amount of money every month plus uh, a little extra towards debt. And that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, all your debt. Yeah. All my, all, all your debt. My debt. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I'm pretty behind on a couple things. I'm losing the hog. I've only read three books. Three books. That's right. So suck it. There's one more book than you. And I'm almost <laughs> done. But with his fourth. goal such a, such a lie. His goal was 52. I know. I'm only nine behind now. That's fine. Um, <laughs> started reading the Dark Tower series. It's pretty awesome so far. I tried to get into that because I had a friend who loved the Dark Tower series, but I just. Uh, I needed to read nonfiction books, so yeah, just about done with the first one. It's pretty sweet so far. Um, pumping all sorts of money into the place. That's going great. Haven't bought any more games. I guess I haven't failed that goal again. Um, yeah, everything else is going fine. I don't know. It's fucking whatever. Oh yeah, cool. what about your blog posts, you two? Um, oh, right. I'm a little behind. Um, I have to do one, two, three, four, five blog posts to be caught up. I need, I think, three ish. I don't know. 
It was one every two weeks, right? But I got my blog post planned out. I got my pictures ready to go. I'm about to bitch about the computer I bought from you. And yeah, I got the material to write about. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> Who's you? Uh, him, the one who responded. Caleb Craig? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got some uh, work to do on those, but yeah, it'll come. Whatever. Okay. I have sold. I have saved up $1,057. Well, your total was uh, towards also was also accompanying the computer price, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's already paid. For. That's already paid. So for. in a way, you've saved up two thousand dollars. So I need to save up. Well, he 5, got a he got a hefty tax return. Does that really count as saving? Um, I put that heavy hefty tax return towards the computer, right? But it wasn't all paid for with that. Okay. I mean, I used up all of the tax return and a little <laughs> bit from the savings account. So yeah. I would count that as part of that. My we, goal uh, was to buy a laptop. It's a beautiful machine. We got to put that, that fucker to work, man. Civ 5. Yeah, that, 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 that makes it work. But that's work, not really put fuck. it to work. But yeah. <laughs> He's already put it to work with his video rendering, stuff like that. That takes a lot. It but, does. It takes the same shit that it does to do a, a high-end video game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to pretty do much. That yeah. Video editing. I uh, no. I really enjoy my laptop. It's really nice. I don't have a single issue with it. Gamer Nation, <laughs> uh, except that it has a fucking stupid sticker on it. That's like, ooh, gamer, gamer, oh, Republic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Republic of Gamers. Yeah, Republic of Gamers needs to be covered up by something. I need a sticker. What about a little new clan sticker? Yeah, just, just put a new right clan sticker. Make a long, it's make a long new clan sticker. Just put like I wanna, three. I don't want to fucking print any more goddamn stickers off. <laughs> just put like three new clan stickers over the top of it, and you'll be fine. Yeah, just new clan, new clan, new clan. <laughs> I don't. Maybe know. maybe vary the uh, the stickers. Yeah, season one, season two. Go yeah. Oh yeah, sounds good. Yeah, uh, go. Speaking of, by the way, if you guys want to send me your address, I will send you. A handful of nude clan stickers. Have a you handful? gotten anybody reach out? But you do ha- no, not yet. But you do have to promise that you will stick them everywhere. Everywhere. And when he says handful, he means hundreds of these fuckers. So that's what he's really talking about by handful. We have yeah. two thousand stickers. I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot. We have two thousand little nude clan stickers. So yeah, just so, uh, nude so they your belong town everywhere. Up. You got to make your they town do. nude. They do. Uh, I'm doing great on my goals. Uh, doing absolutely great. Lost a few pounds this week, which was nice. Uh, back on schedule as far as uh, before holiday. Because uh, I gained some weight during the holidays and lost it again. So that was nice. Uh, and now it's now I can continue. It was like a nice little stop in the road for a second there. For a few months there, I should actually say. For a second? Uh, for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, the books, 12 books in to 52 books. So I'm right on schedule. Nice. Uh, so you're supposed to be 12 books in right now. I know. And uh, I'm well aware. I, I have my tracker on uh, Goodreads and it's like, oh, you're eight books behind. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it took so long. And uh, so it's pretty great. I've been, I don't know, I've learned a lot this year because of all those books, I feel like, at least. And like... I got through the Iliad last night and I never thought I would ever read the Iliad and it was good stuff. I listened to it, but you know, it still counts. Cool thing about reading those classic books is you start to get references. People make in things like podcasts. Um, you understand them deeper than yeah. you would have been by just looking them up or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. And so that's one thing that I've noticed about trying to work on my nonfiction. So yeah, it's general uh, education in general. <laughs> yeah uh yeah i'm 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 doing good i'm doing good y'all nice. y'all are behind yeah, yeah it's true i am the victor so far and you've been you've so been far. just trying to do the the harvard classic still or are you just varying iliad was bit? part of that i think it got and then the book the before Odyssey that part of it i believe so maybe um i think they're just sections from both those books and i'm just doing the full books so uh, it only wants sections. Another book that was, it was Confessions by St. Augustine. And I got that the week before. So yeah, I'm doing Harvard classics. I'm like doing back and forth. I'm kind of doing something modern that I wanted to read. 
and then going back and reading Harvard class. Now I'm going to do something modern that I don't want to read. It's called Winter's Heart by Robert Jordan. <laughs> right now, oh, I'm, in you the love heart, that book. I'm in the heart of the sludge that is the middle of the Wheel of Time. I have heard it gets better at book 11. I am going to start book 9, though, which is, as far as Goodreads rating goes... It's in the bottom, so I gotta I gotta slug through two thousand fucking pages in order to get to the next. Oh, I guess good from what people have told me, one thousand pages. So, well, yeah. at least you know the last three will be good. Just so uh, that's all I've heard is the last uh, the last four are supposed to be oh, good. That's four. It's eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Those ones are supposed oh, to be man. the good ones, and that. Uh, eight, nine, and ten are supposed to be the bad ones, and I am right in the middle of that shit. And eight <laughs> was bad. Eight was a hard book to read or listen to or whatever the fuck I did. Read. <laughs> I read. <laughs> read. I read it. Um, that is so nothing fucking happened. Craig, you, know, the I man know. who blows the wheel of time weekly. Just weekly, just good blowjob for the he, wheel of time. Caleb's admitted, Caleb's admitted that he remembers the first and last part of that series. He doesn't really remember <laughs> well, the sentence. He doesn't remember. I the remember. Shitty middle. Yeah. I remember <laughs> events, not everything that oh, happens. Well, in yeah, okay. Books. Well, then you—that's probably why you didn't remember the eighth book. You know why? Because there was no events. Because <laughs> there nothing happened. Nothing fucking happened. Okay. Well, anyway. I love how you, you, and you'll never read Game of Thrones, will you? You'll never do it. I have the no. TV show yeah. for that. Yeah, there's no reason there's a TV show. <laughs> it's better. And the, the TV books, show man. is fantastic. But the yeah. books are even better, I'm telling you. Isn't that right, Cameron? Don't you think the book's better than the show? The book's better than the show? Game of Thrones. Oh, well, see, that's, there's a little bit of a... <laughs> see, you're Just the only one. Yeah, you're stop. the only one. I'm not the only one. Yeah, everybody wants the show. The well, show I want the is show. good, but it's different now than the books. And so I like both is what I'm going to get at. That's fair. All right. Alternate universe. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it. Get the jingle pulled up. Uh, yeah. I think that's going to be it for this shit. episode. I guess not, though, because we have to announce some shit. Yeah. Like. Find us on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash nude clan podcast. It's N-E-W-D. You can go to our website, nudeclan.net, comment on the episodes, join the forums, join the fun, um, trash on us, trash on our reviews, give us shit about our episodes. Give us all want. the shit. Um, you can tweet me at UFF Podcast. Tweet me at Joseph Diolia. Me at Obsidian Bar. Me at Nude Clan Can. And guys, get your Nude Clan hog in. It's, uh, it's almost that time again. Next week, we will have our beginning of the month episode. We need to know where you guys are sitting. Um, send us. Just go ahead and use the old form, and we'll just take out all the shit that we're going to eventually remove from it and count it towards the new hog. And, yeah, we're looking forward to getting everybody's submissions. I think we all need to submit. We haven't done it this year yet, I don't think. Um, we're all just kind of chilling. So <laughs> get that shit in, and we will go from there. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the grind. What the fuck? You <laughs> Enjoy the nude. Shit. You're supposed uh, to say it. You see you next walk. week. Enjoy the nude. Again. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Fuck off. Yeah!